Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Spacing, and welcome to part 2 of my PlayStation Plus highlight video. This time we are featuring... Um... Uh, I forgot the name of the game. Cloud Skies something? We'll see in a moment. Once this loading screen is done. One thing you'll notice about these, uh... Little free ones, they tend to have a little bit of a longer loading time. Stories, the path of destiny. That's the game we're playing. Ooh, shiny. So, this is another up again. Another one I have no clue what it's about. So we're gonna go ahead and check, make sure we've got subtitles on. Yep, perfect. New game. Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renard plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Well, that wasn't very Swear nice of her. But you won't die on the gallows. She rasped reluctantly. He swore. Shouldn't and press he such mom. Away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once. Shy, almost burp. humble toad. He built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. Oh my! The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power, but the librarians had hidden the books, so they burnt the librarians. What? The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with pro tip: Don't burn people we want information from. One of those books. Brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Bernard had promised his mother he'd protect him. Naturally. Yes, pro tip. Don't burn people you want information from. They don't talk when they're corpses. Crispy corpses either. My cheek itches. And then we're on a loading screen again. I will probably cut this out like I did with my last games. Loading screens are so boring, though. Yeah. My cat and my dog are sleeping on my bed. They're being weird. My cat's licking herself, so I guess she's not sleeping. Wow, this is a long loading screen. Kind of cute graphics. The kid had run off with the book, of course. Naturally. So Renato had to run after him. He had a uh, Renard after him. No, mm, that's a terrible joke. Ah, it's another one of these top-down battle arena type styles. So far, the only thing I can do is attack with my sword. But okay, can't even jump. That's kind of disconcerting. Hi, Ravens. The two Ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner. Those are some beefy was Ravens. What was in their tiny brains. Oh. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their head down. What? Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, I think I'm right. For the Emperor! The Ravens called and rushed at him. Oh, yeah. Who the man? Nardo. Uh oh. When an enemy is about to attack, tap L to counter. Uh oh. L and square to counter. That's right, punk. Can't mess with Renardo. He is awesome. Look at me spinning. Wee. So that's kind of one of these. Hey, neat. <laughs> Spin to win. So apparently that was a trophy. Right on. I'm apparently dizzy now. That's pretty cool. I like it. I can make myself dizzy. Funny. That's what I look for in these types of games. 
or at least a very good story. They hadn't noticed him. The kid. Me too. Yeah, I can't jump. I gotta remember that. Oh, hold square to grab, L to aim, and release to throw. Got it. Floop. Bye. Floop. Bye. Nope. You go floop. Bye. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Oh, right. The gate of heroes. The gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship docks a gated community. You needed a hero sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. How'd he get over there? Let you through. Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that... The kid I bet you don't have a hero sword. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot. But he had guts. Where was Renata going to get a hero sword? Wrong sword. Ah, bollocks. Come, lads, let us away. Ooh. Treasure box. Open. Or and wind essence? Don't break it. That sounds about right. I'll need a workshop, though. Sounds good. This looks like a workshop to me. Here's our bench. Swords. Hero sword. This is the sword crafting menu. Here, you can craft and upgrade powerful magic swords. Gather the required materials from the chests scattered throughout the throughout Boreas. Next. Ooh, I like it. It's crafting. Current level, not yet. Crafting. Uh, next level one. It looks badass. Watch your language. Hero My eyes. Q E D. Nice. Next level, I need 30 ore and another window. Oh, I already have the window. Ooh. 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 Swords galords. I'm at. Mm. There we go. I like it. This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. Mm -hmm. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. <laughs> and the ravens had come to burn her. And she made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. <laughs> the kid is the book. Uh, what do we got over here? I like it. A little bit of exploration, top-down battle system, no jumping, which, you know, again, disconcerting, but at least that means I probably can't fall off the edge. Doesn't mean I won't find a way, but, you know, it means I can't fall off the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. We came up to a ledge. Stylized, that's for sure. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at it. <laughs> How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. White ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Oh boy. Q, said Renato. Oldest trick in the book. Oh, ravens. <sighs> All right, let's take care of these guys. Bah, bah. Poof, 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 and poof. Oh, now you're dead. And you're pulled. Time to put some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Did I level up? He was. He hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Damn it. Use the altar to learn his face. Meditated at that altar there. He'd remember his old skills. Skills. Each time you gain a level, you also gain a skill point. Spend your skill point at the altar scattered throughout the Boreas to gain new powers, abilities, or upgrade existing ones. Cool. Four tiers of skills. The more truths you discover, the more tiers you unlock. Neat. Skill info. Shield hooking. Shield one. Uh, neat. And one skill point to spend. Go ahead and buy your hookshot skill. This would be the jumping, I bet. It was starting to come back to him. 
something you never completed. You know nothing, Arctic Fox. Try to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Hmm, makes sense. I buy it. Whee! Oh, that's pretty neat. Hop. Oh, wait. Hop. There we go. Hop. And hop. And hop. There we go. Nice. And there was the far fair. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the on 12 furlongs. Really? So the sailors were told him. Something told him. The kid was about Star to Wars reference. Stop! He shouted. It's the eye of the beholder. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And the goggler nailed him with its eye beam. Oh, he got goggled. You. I shall destroy you, goggler. With the fury of a thousand suns. I cut him in half. I, I just. Neat. Oh, what was your name? Pierre. I hope you're okay. The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. And the kid sized pile of ashes. That's sad. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renato picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Pile. Kid sized pile of ashes. That's sad but funny in a way. What was the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. Yeah, why not? Let's open it. How many? The war was a blur. And now three raiding really? scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Called the raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Oh my. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands. Imperial ships. Oh my. The fleet was doing a thorough job. I bet. Take us to the rebel base. I will spare your lives. I don't know where the rebel base is. The entire jury rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Oh, maybe I do. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renato could bring a game changer. Like a maybe book. He could. Renato had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. Ooh. The legendary weapon that had exiled the Lost Gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. I bet. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the Rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dives the Farfarer towards the Abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the Raven ships peeled off. Not stable enough to follow him down. Wow. Now it was time to choose. Lapino. Interesting. A branching story. I wonder how it goes. You can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time and the Renaldo needed a game changer. Even though Lapino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with some harebrained schemes. Ah. Uh, maybe rescuing him was worth it. The rebellion was out of time, and I don't need a game changer. An ancient artifact that defeated the lost gods would indeed be a game changer, though it was split into two pieces many years ago. <clears throat> Renardo could rebuild it by first getting the armature. Um, what the heck? If I I, I like this game, I'm gonna play it again. Um, but I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Choose which one I want to do, and of course. As usual, if no one chooses, then I shall choose for me. Because I'm a big boy and I can do that sort of thing. In the meantime, this game's kind of fun. Cute little stylized art, you know. Uh, little wry. Good good little sense of humor. Not 
outlandishly funny, but funny enough. Uh, what else can I say about it? Pretty simple battle. You got one button to push. You know, you can do the directional buttons uh, to adjust for uh, which way you're going. Uh, it's got the neat little hook shot and a, a level up scheme. So, you know, it's kind of, it seems kind of neat. So I say, uh, yeah, I'm waiting for a game I'm actually going to say no to. Only two months in, though, so, you know. Uh, and until I find that game, tune in next time. Night.